Geology on Mars unit, lesson 1.1, comparing rocky planets. So we're on the lesson brief page, reminding students that they can access materials throughout the lesson from this main page. For example, the projections and the video might be useful. Uh, so in step one, uh, this is a teacher-led discussion. Uh, they are introduced to uh, their uh, role in the Universal Space Agency. Uh, we take a look at the night sky, talk about uh, what might be out there, and then introduce a unit question. How can we search for evidence that other planets were once inhabitable? We stop and pause on the word once and make sure we understand that it means past tense. If we look at a planet now and we don't see life, do we see evidence that it could have once been there? Uh, then looking more closely at our solar system, uh, the students examine uh, the four rocky planets. And now before we do that, I'm going to close this projection and go back to three terms that are introduced to students throughout the lesson and are used regularly. The first one is habitable or having the conditions necessary to support life. So students brainstorm a list of conditions they think might be included. And then we emphasize to them uh, that a source of energy and liquid water are two things that we need to have on that list. Then we move on to step two, in which I, the teacher, introduce them to the term rocky planet, any planet with a solid surface, such as Earth or Mars. Each one of these vocabulary terms, as well as any of the main concepts and questions, are posted on our classroom wall for kids to refer to during the entire lesson. Uh, once we examine uh, the idea of a rocky planet, uh, the students then... Uh, are introduced to another term, system. We talk about how scientists can define systems, and in this case, we define the system as a single planet. Uh, and again, going back to the rocky planets, we are talking about, uh, you know, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are our four systems we refer to. Uh, on the next screen, they're going to be doing some investigation, uh, both independently and in partners, and then in larger groups than that, on uh, each of the four parts of these systems. And here, I need to pop back to those. Uh, projections we were looking at a moment ago. Uh, so each one of these rocky planets, which we define as a system, can then further be divided into layers or spheres, the hydrosphere or the water layer, the atmosphere or the gaseous layer, the geosphere or the rock la la rocky layer, and the biosphere, a layer that might contain life. And uh, they're presented with 16 cards. Uh, four cards for each planet, so four Mercury, four Venus, four Earth, and four Mars. And the four cards for each planet are the hydrosphere, atmosphere, biosphere, and geosphere that they saw on the previous screen. And there's some information that they're given, and they are going to take notes on the sphere of their choice. So in this case, if I was the atmosphere researcher, I would have all four cards of atmosphere, one for Mercury, one for Venus, one for Earth, one for Mars, and I'm going to compare atmospheres and take notes on what I see. Uh, that information uh, is going to go into these boxes, one for each planet, and also my task at the end, after meeting with my classmates, is decide which of the rocky planets spheres are most similar to Earth and, and most different from Earth. Uh, after that, students are introduced to a video, um, a planetary geologist and her role and how we can use what she does in the video to further our investigation. Then we come back to a teacher-led discussion in which we watch the video again looking for helpful tips on how to identify uh, once habitable features. Uh, we discuss the unit question and look at the key concept, which is also posted to the class wall. And then the section they call homework, which we won't do as homework, the homework sections will be done in class, uh, are the signs of habitability on Mars. So they have uh, an area to respond to these questions uh, and then hit the next button to finalize uh, their thoughts and it refers back to an article and previous answers that they provided. And then when they're all done, they hand that in. So that is Lesson 1.1.